hello all uh, welcome to the video in this video we will see uh, how to uh, perform convolution using overlap add method uh, before proceeding further uh, we will see uh, why we have to use uh, this overlap add method and the convolution suppose say you have a filter <coughs> this is a filter with impulse response h of n and here is your input data stream x of n and you will get initial output y of n by performing convolution that is x of n convolved with h of n suppose say uh, the input sequence that is input sequence which is coming here to the filter is very large that is uh, x of n contains say around 10 now. 1 2 3 4 5 up to 10 this is a sequence and h of n sequence will be very small say 1 2 3 so uh, in the cases in some cases where uh, the sequence uh, of x of n is much much larger than h of n or you can say vice versa uh, that time the amount of memory the amount of memory utilized will be very high uh, see uh, this filter and all uh, this implementation will be done in uh, filters and all using say one computer uh, that computer will do all this <coughs> computation so at that time it will use large amount of memory because uh, in order to perform convolution using our uh, usual method say flight strip method so that time it will use a large amount of memory so in order to reduce the amount of memory and computation we will use overlap add method there is another method called overlap shear method which will also serve the same purpose that is it will reduce the amount of memory and computation involved during convolution so uh, in this video we will see overlap add method and in the coming video I will show you uh, overlap save method. Uh, so both are uh, th both these methods will demonstrate how to find convolution. Overlap add method to perform convolution. Uh, so now we have understood why we have to use overlap method to find convolution of two sequences so usually we encounter uh, these methods and all when one sequence is much much larger than the other sequence we don't want uh, the memory and uh, to be wasted we don't want uh, much memory to be used to perform a simple convolution so this overlap add method will ensure that the memory utilization is very less compared to the usual convolution process uh, so uh, there are some steps involved uh, in order to calculate convolution of two signals using overlap add method i will uh, just go through all the steps now uh, it will be clear once we solve an example so that example in, uh, will involve all these steps so it will be clear then if it is not now anyway i uh, will go through the first step say h of n is of length n this is a smaller sequence which we are dealing amongst the two sequences and uh, another signal is say x of n it will be of a larger length so in that case what we do uh, we give the length of the sequence of uh, the smaller sequence h of n as n okay and uh, the next say the larger sequence length will be say l capital L which, uh, which will be equal to m times n so why we do this is we want to get a integer m so that we will divide the whole x of n into m segments as you can see here in the third step uh, we are talking about partitioning x of n into m segments each of length n this length n is same as length of the smaller sequence Say in our case, h of n is impulse response, so length of impulse response. 
we, what we do uh, we'll get a large input in sequence we will uh, divide it into m segments so where m is equal to the length of input signal input sequence upon length of impulse response sequence so uh, we will get x0 of n x1 of n p x of m minus 1 of n so each will be of length n uh, then what we do we perform individual convolution on these partition segments say we perform first convolution uh, we get y0 of n which will be is equal to x0 of n convolved with h of n same case with y1 of n y1 of n is nothing but x of n convolved with h of n so same goes to here okay say y1 of n is nothing but x1 of n convolved with h of n so we perform this convolution for all m segments which have been partitioned from x of n okay after getting all this we perform a final addition which is the main step in overlap add method so our final result say y of n okay this is our impulse response h of n this is the input sequence and this is our final result which is x of n convolved with h of n this will waste of memory so in overlap add method what we will do divide x of x of n into x not n x1 of n etc then perform induction convolution this is h of n this is y not of n so same goes here till x of n minus 1 n right this will be to the filter h of n we will get y of n minus 1 of n so this is the overlap add method and final sequence final result same as here a y of n in overlap add method will be found using this formula y naught of n plus y1 of shifted we need to shift the second sequence by n and next by m minus 1 into n till m minus 1 into n so this will be our required result so these are the steps which you need to remember in order to calculate y of n which is nothing but convolution of x of n with h of n where none of the sequences is very large okay so we'll solve one example which will make use of all these five steps then i think it will be clear so let's go ahead then. so here are the two sequences uh, where x, uh, x of n is the input sequence and h of n is the impulse response we need to find y of n which is x of n convolved with h of n so let's solve this convolution using overlap add method so the first step here is to identify the length of input sequence which is the largest sequence so that is l so l is 6 and uh, the length of smaller sequence say h of n is 3 so l is equal to our formula is l is equal to mn so substituting these values in this equation we get m as 2 ok so after calculating m our next step will be to partition x of n ok partition x of n into x naught of n till x of m minus 1 n so let's partition x of n here into x of each of length n each of length n this is very important so we will follow x of n will partition into in this case x naught of n and m is 2 so another will be x1 of 
n. So this will be two sequences. So partition each of length n. So we will partition first three as x naught of n and next three as x one of n. So we got our two sequences. X naught of n will be one, two, and three. X one of n will be four, five, and six. Meanwhile, our h of n is one and one. So after calculating x naught of n, x one of n, and h of n, we need to perform convolution, individual convolution. The first convolution will be y naught of n, which will involve x naught of n convolved with h of n. We need to calculate this, and then y one of n. It will be x one of n convolved with h of n. So we'll calculate this convolution now before proceeding further. Uh, so we uh, uh, perform usual individual convolution. This is x naught of n and this is h of n. If we convolve these two sequences, as you can see, each are of length three. So our uh, resulting convolution will be having a sequence which is of length five. Uh, we have used uh, like this usual convolution method to perform this convolution. You can verify. It. So this will be the first result. Same with second sequence. This is x one of n. So this is x one of n, and this is h of n. So we perform x one of n converted to h of n. We get another result that is y one of n. This will also be of Uh, length five. So once we get y naught of n and y one of n, we need to calculate the final result. That is y of n. This will be y naught of n plus y one of n minus n. This is in this case. Our formula will be only two here, because since n is equal to two, we need to calculate this y of n till what term? Let us say y of n minus one. So here m is two. So two minus one is one. So till this part y one. So here is our y naught of n. We will arrange it. One three six five three. So the five sequence. Let me add it here. One two three four five. So that is one three six five three. One three six five and three. This is what y naught of n. And next is here. Let uh, n is three. So we need to perform y of n minus three. So that is y of y one of n would start here, n minus one here, n minus two here. So n minus three starts here. One, two, three, four, and five. So just add here four, nine, fifteen, eleven, and six. So in order to get y of n. We need to add these two sequences. So our net y of n will be one, three, six. Add these two. Five plus four is nine. Nine plus three is what? Ten, twelve, and then fifteen, and then eleven, and then six. So as you can see, this is our final result. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The length is of eight. So, just uh, for our. So, what was our x of n? X of n was one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is what length is six. And x of n was one, 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 three. So, y of n will. Uh, consists of how many terms? Six plus three minus one. That is nine minus one. Eight terms. Here is eight. So this is how we perform 
convolution of two sequences where one sequence is much larger than other with the help of overlap add method. So in the next uh, video we will see how to perform convolution using overlap save method. So I think uh, the concepts are clear. Uh, for any doubts please use the comment section and uh, please subscribe our channel. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot.